guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be talking about some beautiful book covers or covers that I think are really really nice. Um, I thought this would be just a fun video to make and we could just swoon over some book covers because like some of them are really fucking good and you'll notice a, a theme with some of them. <laughs> really pretty book covers that I personally really like. Definitely let me know in the comments like some of your favorite book covers ever. Let me know or like elements that you really like on book covers. Like first up here I have The Virgin Suicides by Jeffrey Eugenides. This is one of my favorite books. This is the UK edition and the thing I like about this one is like the the tree with the trunks. It just has a lot of significance to the story and it's also like shiny the tree with the trunks. So I think it's like a perfect cover for this book. I have a few like manga graphic novel ones but like one of them is the Dream and Sun series. This is a super cute like fun fluffy manga series about like a girl who lives with a bunch of guys and it's about like her friendships with them and then some of them like her and that kind of thing. Uh, so that's volume one and then volume two is like this and then I think volume three has my favorite cover. Look how cute. I also have, I really like dark dark book covers too. Uh, this guy has horns and black and white and it's, there's a bit of gold in it. It's called The Girl From The Other Side. I really really like this one. It's a really good manga actually as well. It's uh, the art's really pretty and simplistic. It's very very interesting. I really like this one and then I also really like, this is a, an art copy but this is uh, Teen Titans Raven and this is a graphic novel by Cami Garcia. So I love the art style in this. It has like a really nice purple blue no mostly purple and black purple and black color palette is what we're going with here but i really love it i love the the illustrations of raven and this was just such a good graphic novel as well but i, I love that color theme of like black and purple and then it just worked so well throughout the whole graphic novel i have some like ya books here too so like uh wild beauty this is one that i haven't read but like this cover looks phenomenal i know this is like a magical realism kind of book but the cover it has just like a lot of beautiful flowers on it and it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I was gonna see what the naked book looked like, but it's just dark green. I think this cover is absolutely stunning. I know a lot of people really like this one. Another one is Tyler Johnson was here. I'm usually not a big fan of books with faces on them, but like in the last few years, they've come out with some really, really good ones. So this is one of them. Same with like Elizabeth Acevedo's books too. Those, those book covers are all phenomenal. But like Tyler Johnson was here is an amazing cover just the dude is glowing first off and the art the flowers the text like it doesn't get lost in the in the art it doesn't get lost in the background like it just looks so good so clean <laughs> next up i have uh wilder girls i've been meaning to read this one for a while but i really love this cover and how weird it looks like if you could see on her face and there's like little peek throughs of nothing and then her neck is kind of fucked up here i just think this is really cool and i've been meaning to read it for for a little while now Oh, I actually have stuff in here. What? Oh, right, right, right. I think I got uh, got this in a book box a while back. So like I have a postcard in here and this stuff. And I think this is a, a thing by the author in here too. But this one's really, really nice. This is probably one of my favorite covers like ever. It's called Retribution Rails. This is by Aaron Bowman. It's actually the sequel to another book it's called Vengeance Road, but these are young adult Western novels that explore like revenge and then obviously take place in like an awesome Western setting. Um, but this cover has so much detail in it and looks so fucking beautiful. Like, I don't know who did this art, the cover art for this, for this series, but they did a phenomenal job. Like there's so much detail in it and the art is so perfect. And even the spine, like look at the font, it's perfect perfect like look we even got the noose up here got the skull cactuses like trees railroads the bird like they just got everything here and i think it's a great cover i have a lot of edgar Allan poe copies but one of my favorites is uh this one the complete tales and poems of edgar Allan poe this is a barnes and noble exclusive edition so you can only get it there uh they're this one has the, b the bird and it says nevermore on it very nice and then the back says quote the raven nevermore we got silver edges and then we also have a ooh nice we have a ribbon in here and this has all his uh oof look at the end pages oof. this book has all his tales and poems and it's really really good if you haven't read any poe i highly recommend it <laughs> But I have a whole video just talking about like all the Poe editions that I own from a few years ago. So if you want to check that out, I'll have that linked. But I really love Poe and this is like one of my favorite copies of him that I own. 
of his work that I own. I wanted to talk about a few that like I couldn't find on my shelf at the moment. One is Into the Water by Paula Hawkins. I love this cover. Uh, this is like, this was a, a thriller that came out a few years ago. And I remember I was like, I didn't read The Girl on the Train, so I was kind of like, hmm, about this book that came out, but I read it and it wasn't my favorite, but the thing that I did like about it was how atmospheric it was and like a lot of the elements I did really enjoy, but it wasn't like my favorite overall. But yeah, the cover is beautiful. I really like covers with like water on them. And like, again, with the first time she drowned, this one with the beautiful, like this book explores a lot of tough issues, but like it looks so beautiful, the cover with like uh, the girl, like the silhouette with the water in it. Stunning. Another one is the ocean at the end of the lake. <laughs> Definitely, if you guys know of a book cover that's cool that has water on it, let me know because apparently I found a lot, but I really like this cover. It looks so enchanting and captivating at the same time. Like it looks like, ooh, what, like what's that about? You know, like I would definitely, if I saw it, the cover in the store, I'd definitely go up to it and be like, ooh, what's that? <laughs> so there you guys have it. Those are some of my favorite book covers or just some covers that I saw that I really, really like that are on my shelves. Um, let me know some of yours. There's definitely so many. So I probably forgot so many. So if I, I could do another video like this in the future, if you guys would be interested. I also want to do a quick announcement here. Late October, like early November, I'm going to be starting a little buddy read and we haven't done one in a while, but I did have a Goodreads group and we all read uh, If It Bleeds Together, which was great. But I think I'm going to host this book club in my Discord server. So I'll have that linked below. Um, you have to like agree to the rules before you join and you'll have to react to a specific channel. Like I'll give instructions, but like you have to react to a specific channel to have access to the book club. So then it's not everybody getting spammed with notifications. It's only certain people who want to participate in the book club. But if that sounds interesting to you, let me know and I'll set it up. Um, but we would be reading Billy Summers. So I haven't read this one yet. I don't know what it's about, to be honest. I really don't know. Um, I just know it's the new king. Billy Summers is a man in a room with a gun. He's the killer for hire and the best in the business. But he'll do the job only if the target is a truly bad guy. Oh, it's about a hitman? And now Billy wants out. First, there's one last hit. Billy is among the best snipers in the world. A uh, decorated Iraq war vet. A Houdini when it comes to vanishing after the job is done. So what could possibly go wrong? How about everything? This spectacular riveting novel is part war story, part love story to small town America and the people who live there, and it features one of the most compelling and surprising duos in King fiction, who let, who set out to avenge the crimes of an extraordinary evil man. Billy Summers is about love, luck, fate, a complex hero with one last shot of redemption. You won't put this story down, you won't forget Billy. So this sounds amazing. So if you guys want to read this with me, let me know and I, I'll set up a book club and we can do it. Um, just definitely let me know what you think because if no one wants to read it with me, I can read it by myself <laughs> and I'll just post a review. But if anyone wants to read along, please let me know. <laughs> so there you guys have it. That is uh, my video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. I'm uploading on every Tuesdays, uh, but if you'd like to catch me anywhere else, I stream on Twitch three days a week. Um, I have a Discord server. I have other social media that's all down below if you'd be interested in checking any of that out. But uh, I'm excited to produce more videos for you guys and uh, it feels really nice to be back. I just got to get back more into my reading swing, but um, baby steps because we, the, lots going on and life is busy, busy so it's okay. But <laughs> I'll see you guys soon with a new video.